Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and guess what that means? Another promo is coming today in Foot. That is Winter Refresh, starting in 14 hours from when I'm recording this. Prime Icon Moments, looks like some winter upgrades, and possibly winter ones to watch. I want to talk about that blue card design a little bit with you guys during this video, but I want to cover today what we're going to be seeing in FIFA Ultimate Team for today's Winter Refresh content, what it's going to look like. We're going to take a look at last year's stuff, a lot of SBCs last year. I think there's a possibility for a lot of SBCs this year. We're going to take a look at some of the upgrades that they have already tweeted out and they've already shown us which cards are going to be getting upgraded as a part of this promo and what they're doing with that because that caused a ton of market movements on Thursday. But Again, we're focused on today and what's going to be coming first, and then we'll kind of look back at that stuff a little bit. First of all, taking a look at this loading screen again, just a sneak peek. What can we look at this or what can we learn from this? First thing we can learn is Prime Icon Moments are not only just plus one upgrades anymore. It looks like they're plus twos on some cards. Maradona being a 99, um, Ronaldo is a 97, and Cruyff is a 96. That's a plus two over his Prime version, so he's getting a plus two over that Prime whereas a lot of times last year was only a plus one. This, uh, was this the storyline player, like the objective players? That looks to be, and to, for me and for a lot of people, we think that that is going to be Politano because Politano transferred to Napoli and they have said in, in the game and foot for storyline players, they said they're going to get upgraded. I think this is our time they're going to get upgraded. Uh, so I think this is Politano and I, that hopefully means that the rest of the storyline players are getting upgraded as well. Um, and then also we have this card design right here, which is um, really interesting to a lot of people. Valencia in Italy. And for me, this card design right here is, uh, especially because of what this loading screen shows, this is winter ones to watch. Now it looks way different than the other ones to watch card. Um, but, and it's also kind of interesting if they would choose a Valencia player. You know, they could easily do Manchester United and Portugal, and we would know it's Bruno Fernandes, right? Because he was a winter transfer to United, um, but that's the way they decided to do it. But this, to me, looks like winter ones to watch. I don't think they're going to do anything with putting uh, cards in packs for the new upgrades or anything like that. So that's my opinion on that, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But last year, we had winter refresh as well. I honestly forgot about this last year, this promo. I kind of forgot. I just thought it was moments and, um, you know, ones to watch looped into one weekend. But last year they named it winter refresh as well. We had the same thing. And there was actually a lot of content last year when this came out. We had foot 19 prime icons. We had ones to watch winter. We had the ratings refresh, which is already stuff we know is going to be happening today. Uh, we also had, and I think this could happen this year as well, league SBC challenge updates, right? So then they updated uh, the Premier League to Manuel and Zini and Leroy Fair. So that's something that I think could happen this year as well. Just to be on the lookout for that. We do have the weak foot and skill move upgrades. New ones that they released to us today uh, or are yesterday. And also ones that have been released prior to uh, the list they put out today. And then objectives, yes. Squad building challenges. Actually, last year, this is important to note. Last year during this promo, they released two SBCs that related to Champions League. They had the Costas Manolis UCL Premium SBC. And this was, I think, the first time when we saw this car design. If you guys remember, it was that purple with the stars in the background, the Costas Manolis SBC. And also we had a Falcao Europa League uh, Premium SBC as well. So that's probably something that could be coming this next week with Champions League and Europa League back on the horizon. But this is probably gonna be a two week promo in my opinion, um, it, depending on how they wanna do the moments and stuff. But as you can see last year, we, got a, we had a player month SBCs, we had a lot of upgrade packs, and I think one of the biggest SBCs we had last year during this promo, we had David Luiz. We had flashback David Luiz during this promo. Um, we had that Costas Manolis, and we also had the base icon upgrade. Last year, we had the base icon upgrade come out during this week, uh, and I think that there's a possibility that they, instead of having the base icon upgrade, because we've already had that, I think it could be the mid icon upgrade coming out this week as well. And then I mentioned this in my video yesterday, but ones to watch summer tradable and ones to watch uh, winter and any ones to watch. Those guaranteed ones to watch SBCs did come out last year. I think it's very possible that they come out this year as well. Those were a hit last year. And especially with how ones to watch summer looks, there's some quality names in there. Uh, I think it's very possible that we see um, 
that again this year as well. So again, I want to I want to take a step back and, and look at some of these loading screens again, right? Like this loading screen right here. Talk about icon moments. Then we'll talk about the winter refresh stuff a little bit more. Um, but icon moments. I want to talk about this because tomorrow's a big day for icons, or t today is a big day for icons. What is going to happen with these? Well, we've seen a little bit of panic selling, but honestly, not that much. Um, obviously, these moments cards are going to be very, very rare. And I got this wrong in my video yesterday. I said that I thought all the cards were going to be a packs at once. That is not what this uh, pitch note says from EA. For the icon cards, the prime moments version will be introduced into packs throughout FIFA 20 until the end of foot 20. So almost to me, that doesn't seem like they're releasing all of them at one time. It looks like to me, they're almost, you know, uh, doing them in sets or doing them in batches of some sort uh, through the rest of FIFA 20, which I don't really understand. Just drop them all into packs at once. It's not like anybody's going to be packing these cards anyway, uh, because you know, these prime moments icons are just going to be stupid rare. They're going to be stinking rare on the market. There's not going to be a lot of, you're not going to be able to find some of these cards on the market for weeks, man. That's how it was last year. Unless they change something with the pack weight, I don't expect anything to be different this year. So Speaking of some market movements, we've looked at the at the at the Google Chrome page for long enough. Speaking of some market movements on icons today, if you see panic selling in the morning, or even if if you see panic selling after 6 p.m. UK, which I don't feel like you should, but if you see panic selling on icons, please consider possibly looking to pick up some of those cards if you want one for your team, depending on how low it goes, uh, because you know a guy like center centerman uh, 91 rated Ronaldinho. There aren't any other versions of a central uh, Ronaldinho in this game. And if his uh, his moments card, if it is actually a 95 uh, center attacking mid card, you might see a panic sell on this one because people think they're going to get the moments. But in reality, that moments Ronaldinho is going to be crazy expensive because of that position change, that dynamic image that we've seen. Um, you know, so I would be very careful if there is panic on the icons tomorrow at the moment, unless they do something crazy, right? Unless they do something crazy and they release like icon SBCs or something for moments cards. I don't expect that happening, but maybe they, maybe they do something crazy. A apart from something crazy, I do expect these cards to be panic sold in the morning, maybe stay low-ish during lightning rounds and then rebound back up quickly, especially on some of the meta icons that a lot of people want to use. Um, of course, mid icons are going out of packs tomorrow. I think they will rise. I don't really think that'll affect them that much, to be honest. I mean, they're, they're mid icons, right? It's nothing super duper crazy for a lot of them. Uh, we saw baby icons. You know, some people said, yo, baby icons rose. Well, you have to think about it this way. A ton of the baby icons were panic sold into team of the year. Okay, hold it right now at a 5 mil bid. Interesting. All right, 5 mil flat on that hold it bid. Interesting. Um... Some of those baby icons were panic sold into team of the year, but that's just because the market was really low and then they went up after that. Yes, they're out of packs, but everything went up after team of the year. So I would expect panic selling on icons, primes, middles, babies, um, and then a rebound later in the evening. But one thing that I'm a little bit scared of is I feel like this market could go a little bit lower is a lot of people lost coins today because of the winter refresh stuff. Um, with the upgrades, right? And that's what EA tweeted out today below their tweet. I'll show you guys. This is, this is the list. Um, I'll go to the actual tweet. They tweeted this screenshot first uh, without the images on, on the, the cards. And basically below that, they tweeted these lists, which were, you know, kind of summarizing the list of winter refresh players that were getting upgrades, the new players that were coming into foot, and then also the players that received weak foot or skill move upgrades. And a lot of people, uh, you know, I don't think this is that awesome. I really don't think this is that awesome. EA, I don't think they're doing this the right way unless they have something up their sleeve. I'm just not a fan of this, honestly. This is the list of players that are getting upgraded in foot. That means basically they're going to have another gold card item. So like, um, English Premier League, Leicester City, Jamie Vardy right here. Jamie Vardy is going to have an 85 rated gold card that's going to be in foot. That's what this means to me because they're only upgrading players that have plus three overall or higher. And this lost people a ton of ton of coins today. And EA knows what they're doing with this. EA knows that in years past, they've set, just put out a team for all the big time upgrades, plus ones, plus twos, plus threes, and above, they put out upgrades for all of those cards. But for some reason this year, they're only upgrading 
you know, guys that are getting plus three or above. And that really limits us to the low rated cards that probably don't have many informs. Now, there are a few on this list that you saw boom in price today. Jamie Vardy's cards um, and Diddy's cards went up a bunch today. Uh, where's Werner? Timo Werner is getting an upgrade. He's getting a plus three, I believe. Uh, and his special cards flew today because of the fact that, he, you know, his special cards are going to be nutty after getting a plus three because they should still be up updating these special cards. Um, Victor Osaman, I think that um, based on what I've seen with his like 79 rated objective card, that Victor Osaman card should get an upgrade. Um, but look at some of these prices, man. Timo Werner headliner, I think today was like 500k before the upgrade or just above 500k. I think he's now like 600,000 coins. Uh, he's above 600k. Wow. So there's a lot of these cards that have increased in price because they have, you know, people are knowing that they're going to get the upgrade. And I also think today a lot of people rushed to complete player of the month, uh, Timo Werner. He literally has 12 hours remaining. He expires in a few hours from now. And uh, I think a bunch of people went and did this SBC today because they're expecting him to get a plus two or plus three on this card going to like 99 pace, you know, and I get that. It makes sense. Um, if you were somebody who did that, I don't, uh, I, 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 if you wanted a Werner for your team, that's probably the best value Werner you're going to get. Cause you're paying the price for the 89 and you're going to end up getting either like a 91 or a 92. So if you did Werner today, uh, rock out with that card for a while. Cause this card is going to look nasty after he gets that winner upgrade stats and it should upgrade his player of the month. Um, although I do think we have Holland coming tomorrow for, for Bundesliga play of the month, or at least in a few days. Uh, I have another video about that if you want to check that out. But I just, again, I think this whole, a lot of people were really mad today with these upgrades, and I understand why, because this is just not up to par. All of those guys, Ben Yetter was supposed to get an upgrade. Lewandowski, headliner, was another one. His card dropped from like 1.1 mil all the way down to 800 some thousand coins because it was a live item that was supposed to, he was supposed to get a plus two. Lewa was going to get a plus two, which would have upgraded his headliner to a 95 from a 93. That had a lot of people thinking. Of course, unfortunately, it didn't happen. So again, all the cards that they're upgrading in here are a lot of lower rated cards, right? Because a, a card that's getting a plus two or a plus three probably has a pretty low rating. Um, now, Odegaard is getting an upgrade. That's another big name that's getting one. Um, Holland is getting one. I think it might upgrade his informs. I haven't checked his price today. Um, who else in here? Tamori is getting one. I, I don't think that'll affect his future stars. Daniel James is getting one. So there are some names in here that are nice, but again, it's just not what we were looking for uh, with these cards on foot for the upgrades. And I don't think we're going to see much more in the game other than that, because I think this card is not relating to winter upgrades. I think this is winter ones to watch, in my opinion. That's what I think this is right here. So last year we had the, the ones to watch stuff. They put a new team out. I, I talked about those SBCs already a little bit. The OTW tradable, any OTW. And if we look at the team of the weeks, um, you did have these OTW winter cards that were out in packs last year. Last year was a pretty poor set of winter OTWs. Um, we could have done without these cards in packs, to be honest, but EA knows they have to do something different. They can't just put out um, icon moments cards that apply to a so a, such a small percentage of people in this game. They have to please their entire audience, and this is something they can do to please that entire audience. So again, tomorrow or today, Friday, I would look out for a web page like this. I think there's going to be a lot of random content that comes with this. Probably Champions League related stuff. Probably um, you know ones to watch related stuff. Prime icon moments. The ratings refresh. I would expect to see this again because I think a lot of people this year have been complaining about the league SBCs. I think it's very possible that they give us a, you know, a third or a fourth item to choose for some of those league SBCs and then hopefully some uh, you know, good SBCs you know, apart from just the league SBCs, like Europa League players, Champions League players, and stuff like that. Now, the one thing I want to talk about, the back, back into the game here, one thing I want to mention about... Um, the winter wants to watch stuff that is a little bit interesting and you know, not concerning me, but just I'm noticing this. I downloaded today when I got into foot, there was a squad update and I was kind of figuring that that squad update would release some of the newly transferred players into this game. I still cannot find a Bergwin or a Bruno Fernandez transfer card on this game. Now I realized that they could release um, it, they could release these cards and put them in the game tomorrow or today in the morning very quickly, or even, 
it, it would be really easy for them to do um, before the promo actually drops. But I'm just a little bit worried that these cards are not in here yet because a lot of we've already seen some of the transfer cards in the game, right? Like Gedson Fernandez has a Spurs card. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find one very easily, but he does have a Spurs card that you can you can get on this game. Boom, right here. Gets it, Fernandez, with the Spurs transfer card. So I don't see a lot of the other transfer cards yet, especially some of the big names that happen towards the end of the transfer period. So I'm just being really careful with those. I still think that we're going to have uh, winter runs to watch, but that's just something. If you start seeing those players pop up in game, that would be a big, big, um, a, a big sign that we are going to be getting uh, new Winter Wants to Watch cards. Uh, and of course, what, what can you expect with those cards coming out? You know, this is just another thing where EA gets to run lighting rounds. They're gonna put cards in packs. Um, they're gonna have the Icon Moments in packs. So they're definitely gonna be having some lightning round cards uh, out here. Lightning rounds, I mean, every single weekend I would have come to expect lightning rounds with the way things are in foot at the moment. Uh, one last thing, I wanna talk about some market movements from today. Hudson Adoy, Howland, Olmo, Palacios, the future stars set to took a little bit of a hit today with rewards or yesterday with rewards and then a marquee matchup supply. So some of these guys actually hit their lowest price ever. I would expect these guys, even though they're low, uh, barring again, some sort of massive, massive content from EA today. Uh, I would expect these guys to rebound as they go out of packs. Look at Valverde under 800,000 coins. That's a pretty big drop from where he has been. 740 on the Xbox. He's been 900,000 coins all week. And today he went from 900,000 coins. He dropped 100K today, man. This guy's down a bunch. So if this is somebody you want for your team, I still think I would snag one and pick it up um, since these cards are going out of packs. And there, a lot of guys are making it into squads. I'm seeing a lot of these, these cards in people's squads. Uh, this Kone card has a ton, a ton of hype just because a lot of people want to use him. Uh, it just he links together with a lot of squads and stuff like that. Uh, and again, I want to take a small look at some of the cards that got panic sold. Panic sold today because of upgrades not coming, right? Let's look. Uh, let's look at Ben Yedder's 85. I think he took a hit today. Uh, he's 214. Let's watch. Let's look at his graph. He was 200 and yeah, he was like 210. He actually didn't drop that much. Let's say uh, ooh, Ricardo Pereira was a big one, man. There was a lot of people that invested in this Ricardo Pereira, and he has actually rebounded from where he was. Panic sells, boys. Panic sells always rebound. Look at this. He was he was 139,000 coins at one moment, 170 to 139, back up to 152. So there's definitely a little bit of a uh, an opportunity there to buy in the panic sell. One last thing that I'm going to talk about at the end of this video today. Are possible like link investments to the ones to watch cards. If Bruno Fernandes comes out, right? Juan Bissaka is crazy high in price right now. This might not be the best example, but if you can find some Man United players um, that could link to the new Bruno Fernandes or possibly, um, you know, like Bergwin coming out. I know Bergwin has a two star weak foot, but maybe this Deli Ali card, if the Bergwin wants to watch comes out, maybe this Deli Ali card takes another little bit of a step up in price. 71,000 coins out of packs. I still have like five or six of them on my transfer list that I got for um, under 60K and he's up, he's up to 71K. This is why I love trading with man of the matches. As you can see here, a lot of these guys are right around the 60K mark, 57. I bought this one at 52. That was a really nice deal, 57. So I have a chunk of these left and I'm waiting to sell these until the ones to watch guys come out because if Bergwin does get one, this is a, a little bit of extra link investment demand that this card might have. So just keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. Maybe some other Portuguese links for Bruno Fernandes. I feel like a lot of people would wanna try that Bruno Fernandes card uh, if it does come out into the game today. Just a quick run through of what I sold today. I had a Renan Lodi with a shadow I sold. Uh, this was just kind of a lazy buyer actually. And then a lot of this stuff I just flipped. I sold a couple delis above 70 and I bought, or I sold all my St. Maximins while he was extinct at 100,000 coins just to get the money on those. I bought all these probably at an average price. I had one that I bought at 50K and the rest I bought around like 80 to 83. So the probably average price of just under 80K for, for all of those. Uh, sold them all at 100,000 coins. So that was a GG. It's finally good to have some coins back, boys. It's really, really good to have some coins back. So again, what do I expect, expect today with the winter refresh? I would expect lightning rounds. I would expect winter wants to watch cards. I would expect the, the new upgrades to go live. So there could be some interesting market movements today with um, 
with the new with the new cards that come onto the game uh, if there's some you know like link investments or if there's some panic selling because you know Bruno Fernandez comes out maybe you see you know like a guy like Rashford or a guy like um, Martial go up in price you know Man United fans linking those cards together something like that or maybe you see um, you know just some panic selling because of those cards coming out in the game as well so watch icons of course out of pack special cards tomorrow night when pack supply comes onto the game and in the mornings a lot of times like when you might be watching this video before the promo comes there's usually panic selling in that time period just take a minute take a look around the market if you find some stuff that is low um you know we have plenty of other special cards that you can focus on a lot of stuff rebounds into the friday night period so i'll probably be buying things in the morning or around the 6 p.m. time frame that I think will rise into the evening as people then build their teams to go and play the weekend league. So we'll talk about a lot of this promo tomorrow once we see what we actually get, but I'm hoping for a hype day on FIFA Ultimate Team with the winter refresh promo. Hopefully you guys are chilled and ready for some winter refresh, all right? If you guys enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.